so I am once again back in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, one of my favorite places to visit because I'm a sucker who loves tourist traps. I mean, come on. And I also wanted to check out, you know, just kind of see what's going on around town. It's been one week since the uh, remnants of Hurricane Helene hit East Tennessee and Western North Carolina. Now this area was far enough west, I guess, they didn't get a real ton of damage like they did in, you know, more Eastern Tennessee and Western North Carolina. I'm actually right here by the river and uh, you can see some trees under there, under the bridge. I'm wondering if those were part of last week's storm that washed up under there and got stuck. But yeah, the water levels, of course, are back to normal. Uh, this area does get flooded, you know, from time to time whenever there's heavy rains, uh, especially River Road here, which is where I'm at. Further down that way, it will actually creep up onto the roadway. I've seen it do that before. But I'm just going to walk around and check things out, so let's go. So one place here in Gatlinburg that might get a little overlooked since it's back here on River Road is Gatlinburg's <clears throat> mysterious mansion. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to have time today to go in and check it out, but I would highly recommend anybody coming to Gatlinburg for basically Halloween or any time of the year to check this place out. It's very cool. It's been back here forever, but yeah. Mysterious mansion here in Gatlinburg. And of course you have the Sky Bridge Park. Take a chairlift up to the top of the hill there and walk across the bridge, if that's your thing. <laughs> And of course, Gatlinburg has the greatest tourist trap attraction of all time. That being Ripley's, believe it or not, auditoriums. I love these places. I do have a video of this particular one on the channel already and the one in Panama City Beach and Orlando, Florida. Uh, at some point, I'm gonna redo this, you know, go back through this one again, just because I'm kind of doing videos differently these days and just wanna kind of update that. But I'll do that maybe next year at some point. But yeah, I love Ripley's.
And right across from the Sky Park here is the iconic Gatlinburg Inn. This place is where the song Rocky Top was actually written inside one of these hotel rooms. Pretty cool. And it looks like China Bazaar is coming back. Uh, this new building is in the place of an actual older building that burned down a couple of years ago now. Uh, China Bazaar was located in there and also Pucker's Sports Bar. People with loud cars. <laughs> but uh, Pucker's has actually moved next door here now in their new location. I don't know that they're open yet. It doesn't quite look like it. But uh, yeah, Pucker's and China Bazaar back in Gatlinburg. Okay, I see a penny smasher. I'm gonna do it. Let's see, which one do I want? I think I want the bear. So we'll just crank it there. So this is Reagan Terrace Mall, you know, a bunch of little shops here, and uh, they do have a mini golf behind all these places, and a ropes course, obstacle course, whatever you want to call that death trap. But uh, one good thing to know is back here in the corner, they do have public restrooms if you need them. So yeah, Reagan Terrace Mall. And of course, everyone wants to poo-poo on it, but Earthquake the Ride is here in Gatlinburg, and if you've never done it, it's worth it for the, you know, cheesy kitschiness. I mean, but who am I to say? I'm a sucker who loves tourist traps. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there is a video of Earthquake the Ride on the channel when I went on it, if you want to check that out. And right across the road from Earthquake the Ride is a must-do if you're ever in Gatlinburg. That is Fanny Farkle's Family Fun Parlor. And really, the main reason to go there it's for what they call an ogle dog. It is a foot long corn dog and it is so good you have to get one anytime you are in Gatlinburg. And of course another staple of Gatlinburg is Kilwins and the caramel corn place. I don't know. Yeah, I guess there are two different places, but they've both been here. Well, this one's been here since 61. And you can get buckets of caramel corn with your favorite sport ball team on it with Mickey Mouse. Okay. And of course, Kilwins with their candies, their fudges, caramel apples, all that stuff. And an institution here in Gatlinburg is the Pancake Pantry, but you better get here early because sometimes this line, they'll have a line and it'll go all the way around out here and you'll be waiting for quite a while. And then there's also the village, kind of like a uh, little European town type feel inside there with lots of shops and uh, the donut fryer is actually back there, which is where I'm about to head.
So I just finished up at the donut fryer. Oh my gosh. It is so good. I would tell you what I got, but just everything's there good. So whatever your fancy is, just get it. Even if it's just a plain glazed donut, get it. But uh, I just want to take you back here a little further back into the village before I get back on the parkway and show you some more. And what I think is one of the best shops here in Gatlinburg is the Buckboard 2. They have a lot of pop culture like items like, here we go, for Halloween. Yeah, I really like this place. You know, if you're a pop culture nerd like me, check it out, Buckboard 2. And across from the buckboard too you have the mountain mall this place has been here forever <laughs> and one of my favorite stores is also located in here and we'll get across the street and i'll show you that so my other favorite shop here in gatlinburg is in the mountain mall and it's called rhythm section music and movies they have you know cds albums dvds and other stuff like you know posters they also have t-shirts and stickers of all your favorite bands and some bands are on your favorites i actually love the misfits and of course good old willie nelson <laughs> he's the best and you also have Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies here in Gatlinburg. I do have a video of that on the channel, but like I said before with the Ripley's uh, Auditorium, at some point I'm going to go make another video cause just because I'm doing videos differently these days. So stick around for that in the future and hopefully you'll come back for it. And one of the final things I'm going to feature here in this video is Anakista. It's a uh, mountaintop uh, attraction with shops, restaurants. They have two mountain coasters and they have what I like to call Ewok Village. Basically uh, little tree bridges going from one tree to another. And there's some little huts on some parts, not the main part, but you know, ah, you get the idea. But anyhow, uh, oh, and they also have, uh, or at least they did when I went there, last year this thing called uh what is it called astra lumina it's basically a light show that you walk through pretty cool it's also on the channel so you can go check that out as well and no visit to gatlinburg would be complete without saying hello to our old friend beauregard you've got to stop by and see him every time you're in town i think that's going to do it for me here today though i'm going to head over into pigeon forge see what's going on over there and then uh i don't know if i'm gonna make that a separate video or put it in this one i guess you'll find out when this clip ends